Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another single player mission. Just before we start this one, I want to show you how to install it. So if you want to install it yourself, you're going to go to my Discord channel and in my dummy useful files and maps and stuff like that, whatever the, the channel section there is called, you're going to basically go to that, um, download this uh, this RAW file here called TK Leo's U USA Campaign. Uh, we're going to right click and extract that. You need WinRAW, uh, a little free program you can get off Google to extract that, or maybe WinZip does that as well. In that, you're going to get a load of folders like this, and that's the first things you're going to grab. So this is going to install all of his eight missions. Uh, I'm today only going to play the final one, which is USA Mission 8, which is the hardest one and the final one that I haven't completed yet. All the other ones I've already completed. But you're going to right-click on those, and you're going to cut them, and you're going to paste them into uh, My Documents, uh, Zero Hour Data, and then into a Maps folder. If you don't have a Maps folder, you can right-click and create that as new. Or if you just got a gen tool, I believe that might just uh, create it automatically. Uh, once you're into maps, you're then going to paste all of them folders off your desktop, all of the actual folders containing all the map files into there. So once you've done that, you can close it. And then all of them obviously will disappear because you've cut them. The next file you want is the one that ends in .big. So it's TK Leo's USA campaign .big. You're going to right click on that one and cut it. And then you're going to open your zero hour directory. So in my case, it's program files. EA games, zero hour, zero hour, and then when it looks like all of this with your zero hour um, exe in here and the world builder exe, you're going to right click and paste that. So when it's in, it should look like that here. Yeah. Uh, the next folder you want to go into is data. Again, if you don't have a folder called data, you can right click here and create it. Just call it exactly data. And then inside of there, you want to get this generals.string and paste that in there. Once you've finished playing these missions and stuff like that, I suggest you then delete this file or hide it or put it somewhere else or uninstall it because it, uh, for me, it has caused a couple of glitches. Like um, uh, mainly my uh, my hotkeys, my custom hotkeys stopped working. So like my, my Z key was cell, for example, that stopped working and it all went to like default and stuff like that. So once you've finished with this, I recommend you uh, then delete that generals.string uh, file. Okay, so here we are in the game. The way to play this is to go to single player. Go to skirmish, go to select your map, unofficial map, scroll to the top, and it should be somewhere near the top. This is alphabetical order. The brackets come before A, so you're going to find it there. We're going to set the game speed to 33. 30 is more or less exactly like what you play with or feels like on a, on a network mode or online multiplayer, maybe 33. But yeah, in this case, we're just going to play with 33. Important to note, if you're playing on single player skirmish, that this 33 also limits your FPS to 33. So it's like the game speed and FPS is linked together. Don't ask me why that is the case, but that is apparently the case. So there's going to be a lot of edited units in this. We get like laser rangers, uh, plasma pathfinders, get a secret tank a little bit later on. Microwave tanks are more powerful. And in this case, throughout the whole campaign, we've been chasing down General Granger. I think in the previous one, we've just arrested him. We're now taking him to like a high security prison. I think inside of the Chinook is, is him. He's turned like kind of rogue, General Granger. So we've arrested him. And throughout this, we're going to have to protect the prison. So yeah, when we jump in, I'm going to have to start playing full pelt pretty much straight away. We're basically going to, be, going to be defending enemy waves for the first, like, kind of 10, 15 minutes, actually. It does last quite a long time. And then, like, some of General Granger's forces are going to try to uh, rescue him or get him out of prison or destroy the prison. And we're basically going to have to destroy those bases. Uh, but yeah, lots of custom content. It's like a secret tank a little bit later on as well. Yeah, this whole campaign is made by TK Leo. It's like an alternative USA campaign. And he's probably one of the best map makers in the community, to be honest. Very detailed. Lots of custom content, as I said. Which no doubt takes a very long time. So we're going to have to start playing straight away. We've got a lot of custom stuff. Like I said, we've got a bombardment. It's going to fire like some laser projectiles from there. Uh, we're going to get that. And we're going to get a load of... Um, Laser Rangers. I'm going to load up 
All of these bunkers, which are like super strong bunkers as well. We basically got to defend this area for now. Losing minimal stuff. Eventually, we are going to push out. We're going to be scanning the map as well. It's got lots of black shroud going on. Congratulations, General. Try not to lose anything. Right, so these are plasma pathfinders. We're going to basically queue up hundreds of those. This is the method that I'm going to use to try and complete this map. Try not to lose anything, if possible, at this stage. Congratulations, General. You have been promoted. We're basically going to make a line of these Pathfinders because these can't be killed really by these waves in the beginning. So we're going to make a line of Pathfinders. They can shoot vehicles as well. I'm going to make a nice little line, a wall of Pathfinders. Continually scanning the map. Let's make sure we're not losing stuff. Don't really want to lose that bunker. You can see it's still firing there, which is, which is good. But yeah, these can shoot obviously very far. I think like a standard Pathfinder, but they're shooting these plasma projectiles. Which eventually you can wipe out these waves just with the uh, just with the Pathfinders, pretty much. So, oh, I'm taking some damage here. Later on, we do get doses and we're able to build stuff. Just don't want to lose them bunkers. He's just there to tank some damage, really. Yeah, these are getting some nice veterans. Let's continue uh, scanning the map. And eventually we are going to push out, do some stuff, but just for now we're just going to make a nice... Uh, ...line of defense that can't be broken through, basically, by these Pathfinders. So meanwhile, elsewhere on the map, there's like another wave attacking an ally here. Another wave of stuff attacking another ally here. Oh, losing some stuff here. So I'm getting money from agents inside of there as well. They will get up to like $20. Cash seems to have frozen for a second. Is that because I've pressed stop on it? I think it probably is. Hopefully they start collecting now because that's my cash. Alright, they're going again. Okay. That has slowed me down a bit because... Uh, yeah, I did want that cash.
I know I made a mistake over here. Yeah, continue scanning this darkness. So yeah, obviously when these pathfinders are stealth just like in the regular game with no modded content they they also can't be seen but the difference is that they can shoot vehicles so you can see this one taking damage here from these plasma pathfinders which is pretty cool and we'll get him back to get repaired Basically just making a massive army of these plasma pathfinders because they seem to be pretty much unstoppable for the for the AI. Uh, we do get some free stuff if we explore a little bit up here later on. We're not gonna explore just yet. Yeah, these bunkers being able to fire still. Even though they're a bit low, it's kinda cool. All good for us, at least. So the line of defense is getting much stronger, and this these attacks are getting pushed further and further back. We creep forward just a tiny little bit. And then basically the Pathfinder should be able to hold this off single-handedly without worrying about it at all. You can actually push them all the way back to the beach if you just keep creeping forward with the Pathfinders, but I don't know if we're going to do that right now. So then the next thing that's going to happen is actually across this bridge, um, one of Granger's armies are going to set up here and set up a massive base with lots and lots of attacks. So we're basically going to try and clear a way to that. Um, ahead, ahead of time. We're going to try and... Uh, cut off these attacks from, from going to yellow. And get yellow as close to this bridge. We'll basically want to charge this as fast as possible. So you see it's got buildings there now. So, as soon as it uh, reveals, this army's going to get stronger and stronger inside of here. So we basically want to ch uh, charge that down as fast as possible before it gets too strong. It's going to build like three particles and a massive base. Uh, loads of defenses. It's really, really, uh, really, really crazy. So, probably going to get these two Bs. Yeah, that bunker is actually nearly dead, isn't it? So I might just creep forward a little bit more there. keep scanning later on we're going to put agents inside of there and also there's a building somewhere inside of here um basically that's going to get us more money just like they're acting like hackers inside of here
taking some units from here, but I hope it doesn't weaken the defense too much. in that. Okay, so timer, you can see there, 530 until these kind of waves stop. But for now, we are actually going to push out, start exploring a little bit. Money should be at basically maximum income now because we're getting $20 from all of those. So here's that building later on. That we're going to put agents inside of. <clears throat> we're going to continue the explore. Just going to explore this darkness down here. Always wanted a laser gun. So what we should do now is because these are quite evenly matched here. Blue fight in yellow. If we take the sting out of uh, blue's attacks. And basically, we should let yellow overrun and get as close to this as possible. Yeah, I wonder if I can get over there fast enough or not. I think I'm just bad at chilling here, to be honest. These <laughs> plasma pathfinders are just insane. They really are just insane. Yeah, you see, yellow's a uh, bit more powerful now. Can upgrade this power. Just gonna go and explore a bit up here. I think like get some stuff from here. Actually, I don't know what this does. You know here. If you go near this, it says something. These tents says a signal antenna, should prove useful. So I, I mean, maybe you put agents inside of there when we get them. Yeah, not long left now. Always wanted a laser gun. Got room for five. 
Come on in. Just trying to reveal as much of the shroud as possible. Always wanted a laser gun. Break it loose. How about a lift? And then in a minute, we're going to have to charge this bridge. If you don't charge this bridge, that's why I keep mentioning it. If you don't, then uh, yeah, it becomes, <laughs> it becomes very, uh, very hard, this mission. We're also going to probably pull most of this stuff from here. We're going to get access to dozers. More agents. But yeah, you see him building now. Building with the dozers and stuff. This is General, you're required to focus your armies on destroying that base um, on that airfield island. Uh, you've been granted access to use the secret compound, an empty oil station next to the compound. Uh, has also been granted access to you, Garrison with agents to sell oils uh dozers and agents reinforcements will arrive shortly the secret compound team has given you um the blueprints for their avengers right so we're gonna build in a second we have received funds from our ally Right, yes, yeah, so we've got access to a ton of stuff here now. Whoa. That doesn't normally happen. Okay. Have all the guys just died? Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. I'm not seeing that happen before. HPM vehicle standing by. Um, okay, so we've got some agents from here. We've got some dozers. We'll get air attacks and stuff like that later on. Unit lost. Uh, we're going to need to make Avengers. So we'll make a ton of those. Construction? Yeah. New construction. Sniper here. Cleaned and mounted. You know what? Actually, we'll make a couple more doses from there. Unit lost. Doing what's right. Doing what's right. Unit lost. So yeah, this here is the problem at the minute. We need to kill that. Once you kill that, this becomes a lot easier to break through, but if you don't kill that, then yeah, it's not that great. Got 13k. Unit lost. Bring on the scaffold of construction. On the job. Doing what's right. Yeah, I actually think we need that. Uh... Oh, it's 13k, isn't it? Jeez. That's quite a lot. <laughs> Maybe we can break through without it, but the laser particle basically wrecks, <laughs> wrecks heavily. But I think this game has been changed a lot because that got destroyed. Which doesn't normally, which is actually a massive income boost for us. Some improvements. Always 
Um, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. It looks like we are breaking through this anyway. If you leave this long enough, this area just becomes impregnable. It, it, even now, it's looking pretty difficult, to be honest. Agent here. Unit lost. I think uh, by now normally I've made the laser particle. I think we're breaking through this nicely now. Yeah, that's good if we take down these auroras because they, they do cause some problems, as you can imagine. Don't want to take them to the face. Okay, yeah, next thing I'm going to build is the laser particle. It's even a bit late now. I don't even know if we're going to get to fire it or not. And to be honest, we didn't even get the secret tank, which actually spawns from there. It was the first time I've ever seen that building destroyed. Yeah, the, I might as, might as well tell you now. You basically get a mammoth tank. From my experience, though, it doesn't make that much difference. Yes, it's pretty cool and whatever, but I think we've we've actually destroyed this very, very fast. Normally, this doesn't get destroyed that fast. Um, now, we want to spread these around a bit. Let's build the laser particle. So yeah, what's called yeah laser cannon. Let's build that. Let's build. Operative on the alert. Agent here. Have a job for me. Bring on the scaffolding. Let's get to work. So yeah, this this mission's played out differently than I expected. I did not expect to kill him that fast without the laser cannon. Scanning for enemy aircraft. Maybe because this is my third attempt. No, sorry, probably fourth attempt. Agent here. Yes, sir. Anything to drive? I have experience. You got the so I think I'm just getting better. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need a load of Avengers next. I think. Yes. Let's go. So, so these are getting us money. Uh, let's get one there as well, because remember these tents. I know my way around. They won't notice me. Operative on the alert. Tactical yeah, I don't know what's going Let's on go. here, to be honest. Keep the power flowing. Always wanted a laser gun. Yeah. Standing by. Scanning for enemy aircraft. All fit. Tactical lasers online. Defensive laser system. Pilot of the USA. Over there. I was beginning to wonder if the map was broken or not, but apparently not. So another base is spawned now down at the bottom right. Now, last time this happened, I already had the laser cannon off cooldown and I just fired it here and wrecked the base like pretty much straight away. Uh, but this is the final boss. <laughs> it's now spawned. It's weird uh, how differently this has turned out to the time I actually completed it before. Uh, so General Granger's right-hand man has come with a new high-tech aircraft. He wants to rescue Granger at all costs. We need to destroy the plane. So basically, we're on a time... A limit to destroy this as fast as possible. Which is why I was making all these Avengers. It's basically going to run around a lot. And we're going to have to try and destroy it. Don't even know what's going on here, to be honest with you. So he's taking quite a lot of damage already. But basically, if he gets to here and destroys the prison, it's GG. But he's taking quite a lot of damage already, to be honest. I think we got this. He's firing massive bunker busters slash alpha auroras, apparently. Why is he not destroying all this yellow stuff? Oh, he is. 
Ah, oh, we got a load coming here now. So he's going to continue moving around. He's going across this bridge. But I think we got him. I don't think we need to panic. He was going a bit close. Yeah, it is such a shame that we didn't see the mammoth tanks. But you know what? I'm sure TK Lee will be watching this. Maybe some tweaks need to happen. I've never seen it before where that, that wave overruns and just kills that stuff in advance. Just hadn't seen that before. But yeah, this is nearly dead. When he goes over here, Advancing. he will take lots of damage naturally from all these bunkers. I like your allies. Didn't even get to fire the laser cannon, you know? Which is kind of annoying. See, I don't think he meant to be able to kill that, but last time I fired the laser cannon in between there, and it just goes a massive boom. It just destroys it. Where is that thing now? It's here. So, I mean, basically, it's already nearly dead, isn't it? You could just... Charging up. Unit lost. It is destroying a few of them, but I bunker busts it and then alphas it. But yeah, he's nearly dead. Yeah, we destroyed it. He didn't even need to go over there because all of these bunkers do damage to it as well. So that's dead. But that's the mission. Well done, General. Your mission is a success. It's time for me to teach you a thing or two about the back of my hand. So yeah, congratulations, General you Ironside, apparently we are. Um, so yeah, overall, this was a really good mission. I know, sadly, it didn't work out as expected there. The Mammoth Tank is a bit of a letdown, in my opinion. It dies pretty quick, like you think it's going to be super strong, and it just ends up dying pretty quick. Um, I should have had more money there as well because the that building should have had all the agents inside of it, but it got destroyed and all of them burned inside of it. Um, and I should have been able to fire the laser cannon, but maybe well, I'll add that as a highlight at the end. Of course, there were seven missions missing here. I've just basically jumped in and done mission eight because I've completed all the other ones previously. But do check out this whole campaign. It's really, really good. And yeah, shout out to TK Leos. Okay, then boys, just before we go, I've just jumped in quickly um, from, a, from a previous saved game that I had when I, when I was practicing this. And this time I went and saved this building. I put a few snipers here and stuff and I've saved this building. This is basically the secret lab. If you keep that alive, you get the secret lab gift. So I've got five seconds to get the secret lab gift. Ironically, though, I've already completed the mission because I've already defeated this part or completed this part of the mission rather. Uh, but am I actually going to get it? Yeah, I am. Here we go. So this is the Mammoth Tank. Now, yeah, you probably meant to use that to get across the bridge. So here's the Mammoth Tank. Here's a little gift. It's a uh, heavy assault tank equipped with twin anti-tank gun barrels, two-side mounted anti-air missile pods, single machine gun, turret and four sets of tracks <laughs> they are also characterized by the impressive firepower extreme tough toughness and sluggishness it's basically for direct head-on fights uh it's also equipped with point defense laser so there it is 
it looks like kind of a different style to like normal zero doesn't it? it looks like almost a bit cartoony the model and the lights look a little bit funky as well it's probably taken maybe directly from another cnc game don't know actually maybe it's been created from scratch let's fire it a bit but yeah just from my experience sending it across that bridge it tended to die pretty quick so we'll fast forward it a little bit now and we're going to use that laser cannon okay then boys jumping back in uh we're going to fire the laser cannon i want to show you all the content included here i'm just going to ignore this uh actually i wondered what happens i wonder what happens if you fire the laser cannon at that could be kind of cool Oh, I'm in two mines now. Do I fire it at that? Or oh, do I fire it at a base? In this case, I want to fire it at a base. I just want to show you what happens when you hit it at a base because the area of effect. Although firing it there could also be pretty cool. Oh, I'm in two mines about what to do. I'm going to fire it at the base because you can see the destruction. It's more like a nuke rather than dragging it in a line. And there we go. I, I, I do... I do wonder now if that could one-shot that, but I'm sure TK Leo will let us know down in the chat. So yeah, it kind of does an EMP. You can't you drag it, which was kind of a shame. I did want to drag it, but it does a crazy amount of damage. So when you're actually pushing across that bridge, you can use it in the middle, kill all the production, to stop him producing, or you can use it to kill that building, which has got loads of snipers and missile defenders inside of it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to log in, uh, back in and show you uh, the, the basically that cannon firing. So GG, well played. If you'd like to support the channel whilst also protecting yourself online, consider getting NordVPN using my link in the description. It will hide your IP when playing Zero Out online, either through Revora or Game Ranger, and you won't lose any internet speed. So use my link in the description for a massive discount and a 30-day money-back guarantee.